Hey guys, what are you afraid of? Got a minute? In 1 John 4, it says this, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. I feel like all of us at different times have dealt with fears, and some of us are still holding on to fears, and the Bible is pretty clear that perfect love drives out all fear. And I think the thing that we're missing is the fact that if we grab a hold of how much God loves us, then we can trust that no matter what happens, he's going to catch us. But a lot of times, instead of trusting that God loves us, we think that God loves what we do. See, I don't want to do this because I'm afraid if I do that, then God won't bless me anymore. God will take something away. You know what that is? That's punishment. That's fear. Thinking that because you didn't do something right, God's going to take something away from you, that has to do with punishment. It's not just something that adds on to your life. It can be the fear of getting something taken away. That's punishment as well. And many of us act this way. For some reason, after God loved us, at the very beginning, he first loved us, and then all of a sudden, now we have to upkeep appearances so that we don't embarrass him or he's going to go to a point where he doesn't love us anymore. That he's going to punish us because we make mistakes. That's not living in love. That's not living in a revelation that God loves you in a crazy way. And whenever you get that revelation of the crazy aspect of love that God has for you, then it's not about, can I get all these things back in order and I can try to please them. It's that, no, my response to this love has got to be love. The very first and greatest commandment is love God above all. Then all of a sudden, no, these things are not a chore. They're not to get us to the point. No, it's us responding to the love that he's giving to us. Because what's more natural with love than to love back? So how much does God love you? Do you feel like he loves you all the time? Or do you feel like if you mess something up that it's going to mess everything up? Because that's just not true. That means that you need a revelation of how much God loves you. So I want you to pray a prayer of just asking God, Hey, how much do you love me? Can you show me how much you love me? And let God blow your mind. Thanks for taking a minute.